light. I think I'll put on my sunglasses to protect my eyes. All right, let's call Miki so we can let her know we made it here. So glad that we learned how to make these stringed cups and the vibration will travel through the string to call Miki. Miki! Miki! Are you there? We made it! We made it to the river! Ah! Hey Miki! It's so nice to see you again. I'm so glad that we were able to meet here at confluence of the two rivers, the San Antonio River and the San Pedro River. Miki, did you know that confluence means where two rivers connect? Cool, huh? So Miki, I'm wondering, why did you bring us here? You want me to put my cups on my ears? Mm, oh, okay, I trust you. here because this song was inspired by a river and it's your favorite song that's so sweet I also really loved listening to this song inspired by the Sumida River and it made me wonder where is the Sumida River <laughs> of course you know Miki because you're from Japan that's so awesome do you think you could show us where the Sumida River is Thanks, Miki. So in order to get to the Sumida River, we need to go to Japan, which is in Asia, in the northeastern hemisphere of the world. Let's use a compass to figure out where Japan is. Do you know the secret to using a compass? Let me teach you my saying, never eat soggy waffles. Never is north, eat is east, soggy is south, and waffles is west. So let's use the compass to find the eastern part of Asia. So now that we're east, let's go north. So this must be the part of the map. There's Japan. Japan is an archipelago. Ugh, what a great word archipelago. An archipelago is a string of islands and an island is a landmass completely surrounded by water. There are four main islands, Hokkaido, Honshu, Shikoku, and Kyushu. I maybe said some of those wrong. There are nearly 4,000 smaller islands and check this out, it's roughly the size of California. The Sumida River is in the capital city of Japan, which is, does anybody know? Say it, say it out loud if you know it. Tokyo. Can you find it on the map? I'll give you a hint. It's on the east coast of the largest island, which is Honshu. Miki, I have an interesting fact to share with you. Tokyo is the most populous city or the city with the greatest population of people in one place in the world with a population of 37.4 million people in the place the size of California. So to put that into context or a way that makes more sense, the population of San Antonio is roughly 2.3 million people. Oh, the sun has come out again. It's so bright. I'm going to put my sunglasses back on to protect my eyes. Quick math question. How many populations of San Antonio would we need to equal the number of total people in Japan? Teachers, pause here if you would like to answer this question with your class. 18. You would need 18 San Antonios to equal one Japan. Wow, Japan is 18 times more people than San Antonio. You know, Miki, it kind of makes sense that a river in a city with that many people, someone would be inspired by the river. Yes, Miki? Ah, uh, great question and kind of a tough one. So you asked, what is inspiration? 
Well, inspiration is when someone or something gives you energy and ideas that you use to be creative and create something, like maybe a song or a piece of artwork. I have a question for you. What inspires you to be creative? Maybe it's the love you have for your mom or a family member or a friend, or maybe it's the appreciation you have for an animal. Maybe it's anime cartoons like Miki, or <laughs> it looks like Miki is inspired by ramen. I know I'm pretty inspired by tacos, bean and cheese. For the writers of the song we heard, it was their time spent at the Sumida River and the sounds that they heard and the way that it made them feel that inspired them to write a song about it. So today, we are going to be inspired by the river, but our river, the San Antonio River. We're gonna do this through the practice of meditation. So meditation is a part of the Japanese culture and is used as a way to still the mind and connect with the world around you, like nature. And that is what we are going to do today. So I want everyone to get into a comfortable seated position. Plant both of your feet firmly on the ground and sit up nice and tall with your shoulders back. Everyone together, let's take one big deep breath. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Can I hear you sigh? Let's try one more time. Sit up nice and tall so air can easily move through your body. Breathe in through your nose and out. You too. Let's be comfortable and get your body the oxygen it needs. One more time. One more deep breath. Breathe in and out. Now we are going to give our attention to the river. And for the next 30 seconds, we are only going to focus or think about the sounds of the river. Now, we are going to listen to 10 seconds of the song here. After listening to the river, do you hear the connection the musicians made to the river? All right, let's take a big deep breath before we listen to the song. Breathe in and breathe out. Now let's listen to the song. Now, let's listen to the river one last time. But first, one more big deep breath. Feet planted, shoulders back. Big deep breath in and out. Let's listen for just 10 more seconds. You can close your eyes if you want to. Now that you're hopefully inspired by listening to the San Antonio River, you're going to create your own song using Chrome Music Lab. If you still don't feel inspired, you're welcome to listen to the song from the concert inspired by the Sumida River or the sounds of the San Antonio River, both found in your ebook. Your other follow-up work for this lesson is to draw and label a map of Japan. You can find the outline in your ebook. Make sure to add a compass and to label the Sumida River. It was so lovely getting to spend time with you all again today, and I look forward... Yes? Yes, Miki? What is that? Oh, should we go check it out? Yeah, let's go, Miki. I know where I'm going to see everyone next time. Bye, guys.